Jim McCartney reporting for FinalWhistle.ie this evening, where Munster have booked their place in the URC semi-finals, where they will take on Leinster in the Aviva Stadium at half five next weekend, after becoming only the first team in over a year to defeat the Glasgow Warriors in Scotstown this evening. It was a battle and a war of attrition between the two teams, with Munster's defensive prowess really coming out in spurts throughout the game. Their class in defence, definitely the difference between the two sides, despite obviously the scoreboard going in Munster's favour, their defensive prowess throughout the game, allowing them to make the final four of the competition. They were definitely up against it in the early exchanges, probably lucky to avoid a yellow card. Peter Romani was taken off early with a knock before RG Snyman would go off later in the early the opening exchanges of the first half with a HIA after he collided with Jack Crowley in the air as they tried to do their best to defend from the Warriors. Warriors pressed on a couple of monster errors, but the referee still wasn't going to his pocket and Munster just about did enough to I suppose escape most of the danger that was coming their way in the early exchanges but but in typical Munster fashion having soaked up an intense amount of pressure they would go up the other end and get over for the game's opening try in the 23rd minute they ran the ball from their own 22 meter line up the other end of the field very good in possession quite patient ran the phase as well and in the, the nice little shimmy from Maliki Fakatoa saw them get over for the game's opening try with Jack Crowley converting Glasgow would go down the other end and try immediately to get a score of their own. But a loose ball coming from their mall saw Connor Murray get onto the loose ball and race up the other end of the field. But he was taken out into touch by Tom Jordan, the fly half for the Glasgow Warriors. Jordan was sent off for a deliberate shoulder to head contact on the Munster scrum half. With, with Connor Murray going off for HIA assessment, and like RG Snyman, would not return for the remainder of the game. Munster used that advantage well as Anton Frisch got over for their second try just a few minutes later, 14 0 on the scoreboard as Jack Crowley converted. The game ebbed and flowed for the remainder of the half, but Munster would take that 14 0 scoreline into the break. At the start of the second half, again, Glasgow were causing plenty of threat toward the Munster line but just could not get the breakthrough to try and get an opening score. They battled down on the door of Munster, but Munster still had that defensive prowess that kept them at bay. Just after the hour mark, it was an opening try by Kyle Stein for the home side that put Munster under a little bit of pressure. The 67th minute try, definitely making it for more of a dramatic ending than Munster would have liked, but the conversion did go wide as Munster were leading the game 14 points to 5. They would go up the other end of the field and started to run down the clock pretty well, but were forcing Glasgow into a couple more errors. Sione Tui Palatu was shown a yellow card in the, in the final exchanges of the game, seeing the home side finish with 13 men on the field. Munster almost got over to Jeremy Lockman for what would have definitely have been the insurance score, but as the clock ticked into the red, Munster's place in the URC semi-final was secured as they now will face Arch Nemesis, Arch Nemesis and the old foes of Leinster next weekend in the Aviva Stadium. As it finished in Scottsdale Stadium this evening, Munster 14, the Glasgow Warriors 5.